morning to me. Well, I'll say good morning to you. Good morning. It is July 3rd today. It is day three of our trip out to Lloydminster. Actually, we just finished another trip this morning. We delivered our load from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan to Okama, Saskatchewan in the south. South of Saskatchewan. Now, we're headed back up to Regina, Saskatchewan. Pick up a load going to Cedar Rapids, Ohio, no, not Ohio, Iowa. One of the O's. Iowa. I thought no. Tired. Whatever. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I guess I'll see you when we're at our pickup. It's morning. Time is now 9 12 Central Time. 8 12 here where we are. What is it called? Mountain Time? Daisy, we're here! We're here. We made it to our pickup. We are in Regina at some garbage facility or cycling facility. I don't know, whatever. If you know where it is, you don't need to name it. I uh, don't name the customers that I actually go to, but I'm at a recycling plant of some sort in Regina. And uh, they're loading me up right now with a bunch of garbage. It's great. It's all going to Iowa. They're taking our garbage. How nice of them. Right, Diesel? We don't need it. They can have it. They can have it all. My phone went dun dun dun. Had a message for you. Hmm? Huh? So today we're gonna try out some new kind of camera angles. I'm pretty excited about it. Yesterday I tried the reversing. You saw that already. Then I'm gonna go to town a little bit here and have a little bit of fun with this. A little thingy I bought here. Well, there it goes. I'll see you in a bit, guys. On we're on our way to Iowa. All right, Diesel. We just picked up a new heavy load. And what do you do when you pick up a new heavy load? Wash the windshield. Hey, who said that? That's not what you do. You pick up a new load, and it's kind of heavy. You scale it. You got it right, Diesel. Two points for you. At least they have a cat scale here. I like these better. Hey, Diesel, are you a good boy? You a good boy? I'm a very good boy, thank you for noticing. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Everyone wants to see my scale ticket. We're here at the pumps now, Flying J. I made a bit of a boo-boo. Not a big bad one or anything. Just something, uh, a little my advice, I guess, if that means anything to anyone. Uh, Fuel before you go load your load, okay? Because then when they scale you out, if you're overweight, it's not a big deal. Okay, we're moving up here. I'm just gonna throw you onto the dash right there. There you go. And move up into the pumps. Yeah, I would always recommend fuel before you go load. I didn't, so now I gotta do the math myself and figure out how much I can fuel. Pull into the pumps here. Okay, so here's our weights. See, we got 11,320 on our steers, good. 33,300 on our drives, and 33,540 on our trailer. So what I did was, did the math. I can put 700 pounds worth of fuel into my truck, and we're in Canada, so we deal with liters. Each liter is two pounds. So you go 700 divided by two, well, that'd be 350. So you can put 350 liters into the tank, and that'll bring you right up to 34. So the reason I said always scale yourself before now, not all shippers are the same. Uh, this shipper that I went to, they scale you in empty, and then they know exactly how much weight they can throw on you before you're overweight. Then they scale you out, and if you're under 80,000 pounds, boom, they send you on your way. And. Yeah, so if I would have shown up there with full tanks today and scaled in empty with full tanks, they wouldn't have thrown as much weight on me. Well, actually, they probably would have thrown the same because now I found out I could ride with full tanks anyways. But then you know for sure, and you don't have to worry about being overweight because you fuel too much. 
That way you know down the road you can just fuel the tanks right up and you won't be overweight. We are just leaving Regina, Saskatchewan, headed south. That's right, we are going to the United States of America. We are going to cross at Portal, North Dakota. Coming out of Saskatchewan, Canada. And I'm very excited to go to the States. I'm always excited to go there because it's so much better than driving in my part of the country, in Canada. You know, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, we haven't figured out how to build a road. I've said that many times, but... I love driving through, even Michigan, you know, the roads are junk out there, but at least they have rest areas, truck stops, and, you know, places to park and grab a coffee. Oh well. I'll still take driving in the States over Western Canada any day. Actually, in any Canada, even out East, there's not enough truck stops. And in Quebec, I, I don't speak French, so I don't understand the signs. I don't know where I'm going. Ontario, the, the DOT are way too strict, way too ambitious, so yeah, I'd rather drive in the States any day. But since I'm Canadian, I go back and forth, and back and forth over the border. I like it. More miles that way, you know, you got a bigger area to cover. I got all of Canada and the United States to cover, rather than just one country, so you get more miles this way. Anyways, off we go. Ready, Diesel? Aren't you gonna look for cows? I'm gonna look all by myself? Twitter? Did you pull a night shift guarding last night or what? Why are you so tired? All right, one more view out my dirty window. You can probably see where we're stopping on the left there. As soon as these slow pokes get past me, there you go. Gas pedal is the one on the right. Timmy's! Timmy's! It's the last Timmy's before the United States. All right, okay. Here we are. Good old US of A. United States of America. Does it just pump you up to say that? I love coming down here. I don't know, I always get so excited when I get to the border. We're almost there, we're almost there, yes! We're there. A lot of fun. There's so many more places to go in the States than in Canada. You know, I'm from Western Canada, hence, you know, Keystone Western. We have five cities across the entire Western Canada. I mean, there's other small cities, but they don't count, they're tiny. And there's Winnipeg, Regina, Saskatoon, Calgary, Edmonton, and Vancouver. Well, I guess Vancouver, that's six. But that's way on the west coast, on the other side of the mountains. So, I mean, on the prairies, there's five cities. You come down to the states? Oh, is there ever places to see and things to do? Roads to drive on. Like this, we're on Highway 52, northern North Dakota. Just cross through Portal. And this is going to take us down by Jamestown, North Dakota. And we're gonna hit the I-94 there, and that's gonna take us and spit us right into Minnesota. We're gonna go through Minneapolis, St. Paul. And we're gonna meander our way down there to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Right, Diesel? Why are you napping so much today? He must have had a, a hard shift last night guarding. You were up all night, weren't you? Teenagers. Yep, so that's where we're going. This is where we are. A couple hours and we'll be on the freeway. Thank God. Ha! Ah. So we just stopped here to rest area in North Dakota. Letting diesel run a little bit. Ah. Keep running. Keep going. <laughs> He's loving it. Get him some exercise as he eats the grass. Stop eating that diesel, come on. Keep running. Get all that energy out. He's already been running for a while. Does that grass taste good? Hey, stop eating the grass. Then he pukes it all up later. Every time. Come on. 
<laughs> it's nice when we uh, stop in these locations or when we drive through these locations that are so sort of out in the middle of nowhere. It's nice because it gives diesel a chance to run. All right, so a lot of you are wondering, how does diesel get in and out of the truck? Well, I'll show you real quick. Hey, Diesel, get in the truck. Simple enough, eh? <laughs> there you go. All right, Diesel, another day is done. We're in Fargo. Hey, I'm talking to you. We're in Fargo. You have a good day? You slept most of the day. Are you sick or something? You okay? Are you all right? All right, we got super lucky here. We got like a front row parking spot at 11 o'clock at night. Unheard of. Someone must have just pulled out of here and here we are right in the front. Good Wi-Fi signal. Close to the showers. I'm gonna go take a shower right away. How about you, Diesel? You need a shower? No, you're good? Okay, you'll just bathe yourself with your tongue later. You're like a cat, you know that. Anyways, thanks for joining me today, guys. I will see you in the morning tomorrow, and we're going to head down to Cedar Rapids, hopefully in time to watch an Independence Day fireworks. Right, Dale? Fireworks. If you're ever interested in anything, Good night, guys.